folks, welcome to the channel. I'm Don. This is Rock in the Country. I'm looking forward to this. I always look forward to it. But Lundy Ray, he's requested a number of songs via gift request. So first, Lundy, shout out to you for this one. But you've put it to me a couple of times in some of these songs. Some are just fun. Some are like penetratingly deep. And I appreciate all of it. So thank you. And this one is Eric Bogle's A Reason For It All. Now, I don't know Eric's music, but with a title like that, it could go anywhere. It sounds quite expansive, but it could be just the reason for a breakup, or it might be about the very nature of life. I don't know. And you, oh, Lundy, you said that you're originally from Tennessee, but you now live in Colorado. And you said that, I think Eric said that this is based on a true story. So with that bit of information, let's find out what a reason for it all is. That's really quite a, uh, a preface to a, a song reaction right there. Different. Quasi-Western. Some are smiling on the city It's another lovely day in Sydney Sunshine pouring down like honey in a golden waterfall. But in the room where Claire is dying, no sunshine sends the shadows flying. No children gather round her crying. There's no one here at all, except perhaps. For the man who sees each little sparrow fall Don't talk to me about lonely souls crying Dark quiet rooms and old people dying I don't want to hear, I don't want to hear it at all That's supposedly God responding to it a question. Winter weeping on the city, a wet and windy day in Sydney. Raindrops rolling fat and heavy down Claire's window pane. The rain upon the tin roof beaten disturbs the rats as they are feeding. Back to the nest they all go creeping Leaving Claire alone again It's been a long and lonely time Since Claire could hear the rain to Sydney Flowers are blooming in the city In all their multicolored glory They rise to greet the year That's nice lyric Memories and shame recalling Footsteps on the front porch falling Voices through the window calling is anybody here? Claire Campbell's lost and lonely soul is a long, long way from here. Yeah. Don't talk to me about life's seasons. Don't ask me for answers. Don't ask me for reasons. I don't want to hear. Don't want Oh, 
I don't know if that's the omniscient speaker in a sense, narratively speaking, representing God. It could be a man's thoughts. But the way it's coming out and the reference to like Claire's soul is far from here. It has this idea of, and like don't ask me about like the meaning of life was like a prior part. It's... If, if this is representative of, like, God, it is so contrary, and I'm fine with this. It's, I mean, I love new ideas, but the way we normally consider God as a goal, he wants to hear all of our prayers. He or she, however you conceptualize God, uh, I know the Hebrew Bible and the Christian text all use the masculine pronoun. Fair enough. Go with that if you want. But that God is like, give me all your prayers, and the people pray all the time, and we just sort of ha accept in many ways those who are given a prayer, that God just wants to hear all of our prayers, and that he's going to answer them, or he'll consider them. And this is the opposite. It's like, don't ask me this question. Not rudely, but it's like, that's just the way it is. You Maybe it's like, you won't like the answer. All right. Yeah. Lundy. Good one, man. So far, real good. Don't you understand what I'm trying to say? There must be a reason, there must be a way to make some sense of it. To try to find a reason for yeah. it all. We are not born just so we can die. There must be an answer. And we gotta try to make some sense of it To try to find a reason for yeah. it all Many of us try Can't you understand what I'm trying to see? There must be a reason There must be a way to make some sense of it And try and find a reason for it all There it is. I think it's his internal monologue or his entire internal dialogue. There's a reason. There's no reason. Don't ask for a reason. Keep trying for a reason. The yin and yang that exists within us. I'll see if I want to see if this goes that way. From the and moment that's where we are. Born, just so we start to die. There must be a man. And we gotta try to make some sense of it. To try to find a reason for it all. It's just how it is. Don't look for a reason in it all. Well, there must be a way. Who gets the last there word? There must be a reason for it all. Is that the final word? Ah, I like it. It is. Sadness, in this case, death of a woman named Claire, who she was to the folks I don't know, what the structure was, I guess it was her home, but then spring comes along, there's new life, and then the new questions crop, crop up, but it's, it's not duplicity, but it's conflict, inner conflict, and I mean, we all have it, because we see evidence for one thing, Let's say, like, uh, just to pick one, like, there's a loving God, right? So, so, okay, the Bible says loving God, and we see love, we experience it, we feel it. But then we see unconscionable acts of death and cruelty in the world. And you're like, well, I don't, what works here? I don't get it. I mean, pick your example of where we, we, we don't have an answer per se. Like, we're not 100% sure or some... I just rely on, say, like, I got to settle on something. I can't let my mind spin out of control going all over the place. I want an answer. I'm going to pick one. Fine. Uh, it's partly the topic of a, a book that I'm writing right now from the opposite side of it. But all, all of that, man, I love that this was depicted the way it was. It's ballsy. It's ballsy in the way it was constructed because... The first part of it was like, there's not a reason for this. What is the reason? Don't ask me. Don't ask me. And I think 
that's one's view basically of like exporting that idea onto God, like God might be saying, don't ask me, don't even bother asking God, in other words, what's the meaning, what's this, we're here to born, we're born and then die. And actually, we don't start dying until adolescence, I think, generally. That's been my view of it anyway, because we grow up into a certain point. Our brains, our brains grow, our bodies grow, things grow. But then once beyond adolescence, then even brain cells, brain cells don't replicate, as I understand it, as I recall. And so when they die, they just die. They don't just keep repopulating. And so that's how even in older age, dementia and such. And there, I mean, there's different reasons for it. There's plaque and all this stuff and that goes into memory loss. But the longer we live, the harder it is because our bodies break down and different things creep in. But you, you, in the beginning of the song, the first half of it really was that. And then the optimistic side didn't come in until a little bit later. I mean, it, it's ballsy in ways because you could have lost a lot of listeners along the way who were like, if they considered what I had, that this was more of a exportation of one's ideas or onto God and that God doesn't care. That could offend a lot of people, just the mention of it, who could check out, but brought it back into a really being an internal dialogue of trying to find the meaning to life. So I, I really like that. Lundy, that was a good find. For a dude who is in Colorado by way of Tennessee, you sure found an Aussie who uh, had something to say. This was uh, John Prynish in ways. All right, I'm going to rate this thing very different. I'd consider it kind of like folksy, outback country. <laughs> so... The number that popped into my head, and this even surprises me, hence the hesitation you may have just noticed, is a 9.8 on depth. Depth alone. That, I mean, the instrumentation was fine. I almost didn't notice it, which is great, because the instrumentation did not get in the way of the lyrics and my sense of the story. And um, initially, I thought it might have been Scottish or Irish, because I picked up on an accent, but he's in Australia, so... It didn't quite sound like an Australian accent, but regardless, it was English, and I understood it. So, Lundy Ray, thank you for that trip, my friend. Good Lord. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Have a great day. I'll see you on another video. Keep rocking the country.